The Barbie movie is dominating the box office since its release last week. No doubt there's a large Barbie fan base across the globe. And ABC 10's Marques Allen, who is dressed in the spirit, Ken, had, uh, do you talk to Greta Gerwig, who's from Sacramento, right? And she's, she's behind this movie, right? Is this her movie? Yeah, behind the movie, she wrote the movie, she directed the movie. She now goes down in history as being the highest grossing, biggest out of the box box office by a female director of all time. So you go, St. Francis. Shout out Greta Gerwig. Yeah, we caught up with her and the uh, cast and crew. Uh, but right now, I want to talk about another Sacramento connection, one of the nation's leading curators of Barbies. Uh, Don Henry, our award winning photojournalist, and I cannot walk an inch around this room without knocking something off the walls. Check it out over 5,000 Barbies and Kins and all of their uh, the accessories and all of the uh, off forgotten, like Alan and the discontinued Barbies, which, by the way, are my, see what I'm talking about? My favorite part of the movie. Take a look. Barbie, odds on you've seen it. And how'd it make you feel? Here's what writer, director, and Sacramento native Greta Gerwig said she'd hoped for. And I hope they leave the theater feeling that they are worthy and that they're good enough and that they're, they're one of one, limited edition, and that they're so special in themselves. One person with unique feels on the subject, this guy. Sam Pena is one of the nation's most respected Barbie curators. His million dollar collection literally consumes his house. It's awesome. I think it's about time Barbie had her own movie. Feature, yeah. Feature movie. Absolutely. And we don't have time to get through the thousands of Barbies, but we can take a tour of the movie for people mm -hmm. and fans, right? Yeah. 2001 A Space Odyssey, there's an ode to that in the beginning and who comes out with the original Barbie and you have her right here. Yeah, that classic 1950s look, that zebra bathing suit, it's just iconic. Michael Cera, I love his character in the movie. Mm -hmm. Poor Alan, the forgotten yeah. Barbie guy. Yeah, he's often overlooked, but he's cool. Awesome. You just keep collecting? Like, what's the end game? There's no end game. Barbie's here forever. Long after everybody's gone, Barbie's still going to be around in one form or another. Wow, everybody's talking about it. Barbie, and from the movie, his latest collection of all of his Barbies. That, of course, would be the Margot Robbie-inspired Barbie, and that would be the Ryan Gosling-inspired Ken directly from the movie. Speaking of the movie, like we said, it opens up with the original Barbie. This case alone would put one of my kids through college. So he's got some, as the kids say, skrilla hey. in the Barbies. My favorite thing about the movies, the what? discontinued Barbies, you're gonna be seeing that. And he's very funny, this guy. As I'm mm -hmm. stepping out to the car, he says, you know why she's gonna be around forever? She's not biodegradable. Yeah. Yes, is there a question from back there? Uh, there is a question from, from the dais here. Where did you get the suit? And did you have the suit before the movie? Got to be honest with you, I, I bought the suit. I went as an eclectic uh, elderly gentleman for no. <laughs> Halloween, and that's where this came from. But hey, when in doubt, dust it off for the movie. Wow. Oh, another point, another thing to point out. Oh. The movie is very transparent, and Mattel is very transparent in the movie about mistakes that they made along the way, of which there were many. One thing I will give them a shout out for is diversity. Early on, Barbie started looking like people of the world from every walk, and uh, they got that right. Anyway, uh, tell our bosses, uh, Walt, that camera guy Don and I will not be available the rest of the day. We'll be picking up the Barbies we've knocked off the shelves <laughs> roughly until about two. Back to you. There's not much room to move there, so uh, any knocking down is understandable, Mr. Bull in China shop. Okay, thank you. Marques Allen, the sartorially resplendent one, who does look like Ken in that pink suit. I, I think he looks... Uh, particularly fetching today. Yeah, he 